Team coverage continues now, and as Mike told us, some towns seeing pretty substantial rainfall during today's storm. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live in Oxford tonight with a look at the situation there. Uh, Hector, quite the scene behind you. Yeah, Brian, I mean, uh, we're here in the area of Riggs Road, Riggs Street in Oxford, and this Riggs Street looks more like a fast moving river. Let's give you a closer look here, what's going on behind me. You can see this water, uh, fast moving floods have just overtaken this street. Cars coming down and having to turn around. This car actually looks like it's going to try to go right through it. That's not what we advise you to do. Thankfully, that car made it through. Here comes another truck. You see these cars actually able to make it through here, but not everyone uh, has been able to say the same. We've seen a lot of cars having to turn around and go other and uh, look for alternate routes. And if you have to go out today, that's probably going to be the case for you as well, especially if you're uh, living in this area of the state. Now, we also have video and some reports of flooding in other places in Connecticut and other areas of Southbury, Woodbury, Naugatuck as well. But uh, as, and we've been driving around the state and seeing a lot of this just even in some areas roads have caved in because of the heavy rain and all these floods and we're going to continue to monitor the damage and update you throughout the night and i will say if you do need to leave the house i wouldn't recommend doing so but if you have to please proceed with caution especially if you live in these areas of the state and again you see these these waters are moving a lot quicker than traffic as of right now. That's the latest here in Oxford. Hector Molina, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Okay, Hector, thank you. Quite the